body and my soul no! with the shit that I carried around. No! Um, so I had I had uh, I had a blast filming music videos. It's been like one of the funnest things ever. It's 50 people Woo! focused on me for 10 hours. I'm like <laughs> I'm into it. I'm like this job rocks. <clears throat> I had a long talk with my music video director about um, how they Photoshop uh, videos because you can do that. Um, it's because you know Photoshop an image. You can do that with a video. And a video is multiple images. That's just science. Um, <laughs> I asked. I was like, "What Instagram filters do you use?" He's like, "That's not how it works." <laughs> I was like, "Do you use Kelvin?" Just kidding. <laughs> but he was telling me that you can spend anywhere between ten thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars editing your body. No. And I didn't know that that was like a really common thing. Um, and I think it's usually used for blemishes, whatever your problem areas. And um, I was like kind of horrified. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I make abs. I was like, you make abs? I mean, this is insane. And he's like, Mary, butts are really in right now. I was like, sir, butts have always been in. I myself am very fond of the butt. <laughs> but I started, I started, I had this like sort of epiphany where I realized that if we're so obsessed with celebrity culture, and in celebrity culture we constantly edit an image where it's completely fabricated and not even real, how disconnected do we feel from each other and also our own bodies? And it's really damaging, and especially if those are the images that you're seeing when you're in elementary school and middle school and high school and, and all of those formative years. This is an ideal. This is what is good and beautiful, and that's not okay. So I wrote a poem about it, and I, and I want to I read you a poem. Is that okay? Yeah! 